Hey, I'm Elliot Hamilton, uh, publishing producer at Gearbox Publishing, and I'm the producer on Bulletstorm Full Clip Edition. So, Elliot, what is Bulletstorm Full Clip Edition? Uh, well, the original Bulletstorm came out in 2011. This comes with everything the original release did, as well as the two DLCs that came out t at the time, Gun Sonata and Blood Symphony, uh, plus uh, a couple new items. We have six more Echo Mode maps, which are your single-player sc score challenge mode, and uh, Overkill Mode, which is going to be your new game plus. Once you complete the campaign the first time, you get to play through again with all weapons and skill shots unlocked from the very start. And if you complete all skill shots for a given weapon on your initial playthrough, you get unlimited ammo for that weapon. We're also offering a pre-order bonus, Duke Nukem's Bulletstorm Tour, where you can play as Duke Nukem instead of Grayson Hunt. So for someone who's never played Bulletstorm, kind of give a brief description about what this game is about. You mentioned skill shots. It's something you don't really see in first-person shooters. Right. Uh, well, brief outline of the plot, you are stuck on an abandoned resort planet trying to get off, but really the focus of the game is, as mentioned, skill shots. You are awarded points for killing enemies. The more creatively you kill them, the more points you're awarded. Uh, it is very arcadey in that way. There are 135 different skill shots, so 135 ways to kill enemies uh, that we've counted anyway. Uh, there's several different pages of environmental kills, a full page of skill shots per weapon, uh, a lot of a lot of very creative ways to to get very violent in this game. Now when you say skill shots, it's not like you know Counter Strike where someone like spins around and shoots someone with a sniper rifle. You're talking about actual like bouncing enemies off walls oh, kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, like for example, there's one there's one weapon called the bouncer that shoots a. a a, an explosive cannonball, a projectile, basically, and there are skill shots for like bouncing it off of uh, a wall or object and hitting an enemy, uh, catching three different enemies in the explosion. Uh, you have the leash, which allows you to throw enemies up into the air in kind of slow mo. And uh, there's uh, a skill shot called uh, first in, last out, where if you toss somebody up in the air and then kill a different enemy and then kill the enemy that was in the air, you get that one. Uh, there are explosive hot dog carts around the, the planets. If you, if you, there's three different hot dog cart skill shots. Uh, you can smash them into a wall with it and get pancake. You can just kill them just by the uh, initial trauma of the smash and that is fast food, or you can kill them with the explosion <laughs> of the hot dog cart, because the hot dog carts are explosive, and that is sausage fest. So there's, there's a, a fair number of ways to get creative with this. So in the original Bulletstorm, Duke Nukem was available as a skin. He's not just a skin in this game, he also did full voiceover for him too, right? Yes, yeah, that's right. He was, the plan was just to have him be a multiplayer skin. Uh, but that kind of evolved into, well, why don't you play through campaign as Duke Nukem? Well, why don't we have John St. John come in and re-record Grayson's lines? Or, well, why don't we write an entirely new script for John St. John where he's breaking the fourth wall and asking the player, like, why am I in this game? Who are you? And, uh, well, that's what we went with. <laughs> it was pretty great. John St. John had a fair number of suggestions of his own. Uh, and myself, Erica Stead, and Mer Meredith Hershey did most of the writing for the script. And it's... Uh, it was, it was fantastic. Just do one-liners everywhere. <laughs> what was it like uh, working with John St. John as well as his feedback on the lines you wrote him? John St. John is an absolute delight to work with. Uh, he was down for anything we wanted him to say, but he would occasionally chime in and say, well, I'm not sure about this. I feel like maybe Duke would say it more like this. And most of the time he was right. We, he, we got a lot of input from John, and uh, I feel like it, it gave the Duke flavor more a sincere feel. He also came out to karaoke with us one of the last times he was he was in town for the, the recording. So all in all, it was a fantastic working with John. So can you talk about some of the graphical improvements from this version as opposed to this older Xbox 360 version? Sure. Uh, well, they PCF, people comply, excuse me, uh, has spent the last year and a half uh, putting everything they can into making this look like a new game that came out this year rather than just slapping some paint on it and calling it a day. Uh, there are updated high-res textures, uh, greatly increased polygon counts. There, the lighting, the lighting, I would say, is probably the most visually apparent of the difference. Uh, it's just, there's vibrancy and contrast. Uh, they've updated uh, AI, uh, animations, and, oh, and, and it is 60 frames per second across all platforms, including in 4K on PS4 and PC. And when does Bullet, Bulletstorm Full Clip Edition come out? Uh, it's going to be April 7th on all three platforms.